I need people to be at their best every day. If they come in sick because they're, they need the money, um, it's bad for my business. It's the argument lawmakers have been hearing for years. Proponents of a paid sick leave mandate encouraged today by the latest iteration of a statewide bill, allowing workers to accrue one hour of sick leave for every 30 hours worked. Over one million people in the state of New Jersey do not have paid sick time today. You know, um, there, there's a process that has to go through in terms of creating a piece of legislation that uh, can land on the governor's desk that he'll sign. In other words, new carve-outs, amendments added to get the necessary votes in the assembly. Items like lowering the max amount of hours an employee can earn from 72 to 40. And while advocates are overall in favor, they're not without reservation. We'd like to see more than five days in a year for the average worker in New Jersey. Um, we've looked at the research and we know people need more than that. There's no successorship language in the bill, which means when they change from one contractor to another contractor and the workers stay, they lose all their benefits for no reason, whatever days they've accumulated. And third, because the employers can still take those days out of people's vacation time. But the new language also excludes per diem employees, targeted at high-paid per diem nurses and health care professionals, a carve-out Annalilia Mejia says could unfairly target low-paid workers. Temp workers who would come into a hospital or some other kind of workplace setting and fill in for, for existing staff. And our question is, would those individuals qualify as excludable? The state's business community, once staunchly against the measure, is now working with the bill sponsor, Assemblywoman Pam Lampett, on the rewrite. In a statement, the NJBIA said today, we're encouraged that Assemblywoman Lampett has agreed to provide a full preemption provision and amend the number of paid sick leave hours to 40. But we still have concerns regarding the impact to small employers. Employers want to do the right thing. They want to provide you know, benefits and time off to their employees. Um, it is the mandate on top of mandate on that side of the ledger that continues to be the challenge to the employers. The bill passed as expected along party lines. Advocates are now waiting for a more robust version to come out of the Senate. Optimistic this could be the year to get it signed. At the State House, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.